When we examine perfectly elastic demand, visually, it's a horizontal line. With perfectly elastic demand, we have a fixed price, and with that fixed price, we have numerous quantities, meaning substitutes or choices demanded. These are wants versus necessities, luxury items. We have an infinite number of options that we can choose from at a fixed price. When we examine inelastic demand, visually, it looks like a vertical line. We have the complete opposite scenario compared to our perfectly elastic demand. Our quantity is fixed. And regardless of our price, whether price increases or decreases, we still demand the exact same quantity, meaning that we have zero substitutes when we have perfectly inelastic demand, meaning it's an absolute necessity. It's not a want, it's an absolute necessity because we have zero substitutes to replace this particular good. When we examine unit elastic demand, visually, this looks like constant opportunity costs. This is also referred to as relatively elastic demand. It shows the same percentage change in price and quantity. When we move from our first price to our first quantity, to our second price, to our second quantity, it's even, meaning our price and our quantity are going to change at the exact same rate. When we take a look at elasticity coefficients, we take the percent change in quantity divided by the percent change in price. And that number will tell us if we are elastic, inelastic, or unit elastic. To have an elastic coefficient, the number from here is going to be greater than 1. A percent change in price results in a larger percent change in quantity. For inelastic demand, the coefficient is going to be less than 1. A percent change in price results in a smaller percent change in quantity. For unit elasticity, we are going to have a coefficient of 1. The same percent change in price and quantity. When we take a look at cross price elasticity, it shows how sensitive the quantity of one product is to a change in the price of a different product. We take the percentage change in quantity of good A divided by the percentage change in price of good B. A positive cross price elasticity coefficient means that the two products are substitutes. When price goes up for good B, people will buy more of good A. A negative Cross price elasticity coefficient means that the two products are complements. When price goes up for good B, people will buy less of good A.
Income elasticity of demand shows how sensitive the quantity of a product is to a change in income. So we take the percent change in quantity divided by the percent change in income. A positive income elasticity coefficient means that the product is a normal good. If income increases, people will buy more of a particular good. A negative income elasticity coefficient means that the product is an inferior good. If income increases, people will buy less of a particular good.